always wanted to ask you, that final hand against David Williams, your full house, was it deuces full of eights, I believe? Seemed to me like you hesitated before raising your arms in victory. Not sure if that was the television edit, but did it take you a moment to realize you had just become world champion? It took me a moment to realize I had won the pot, and then I knew immediately that I was the winner of the tournament and the world champion. But, I mean, the way the hand played out, when I shoved the river, effectively I was sitting in, like, the four seat. So if you, you know, think of the poker table, the oval, the dealers in the middle, I'm essentially, my seat is, is straightforward, is facing the dealer, but I'm off to the side a little bit. And then David was at the end of the table in like the seven seat, give or take. So he's kind of facing the middle of the table like 90 degrees to the dealer. Matt Savage is the tournament director that year and he's standing over the dealer's shoulder. So when the river card was built and I decided to go all in, you know, I wanted to look at Matt Savage and verbalize it to him because if he hears me clearly, I'm not going to get a bad ruling. You know, it's not going to be like I, I say it too quietly. No one really hears me. You know, David thinks I've checked, and he checks behind. you got a big hand. You want no mistakes made. I'm all in. Yeah, I don't want, you know, to say it to David. I don't want to say it to the dealer. It's like they need to know. But if Matt Savage hears it clearly, he's the tournament director. Nothing can go wrong by accident, so to speak. So I look up at him, which means I've pointed my face away from David. And I say, I'm all in. Before I can turn my head 90 degrees to look at David, he's already said I call and has turned his hand up. So the, the board is two, four, five, rainbow, and then a deuce, you know, deuce, four, five, rainbow, and then a, another deuce, and a third deuce. And he's called so quick that my first thought is my pocket eights can't be any good. He's either got the deuce or he's got pocket aces or whatever. So he snap calls, and so my first thought is, like, that's not a good sign. I must have lost, which means now instead of being, like, two-to-one chip leader, I'm going to be two-to-one underdog. He's tabled his hand, though. He had ace four, so he had paired the four that was on the board. He had deuces full of four, so I did have the winning hand, but I had to, like, look back and forth a couple of times between the board and his cards and, like, okay, yeah, and I had pocket eights, and so I had to think about it for a second or two before I was, you know, kind of emotionally sure that I had won, you know, before it really was like, okay, yes, my initial reaction that he snap called I must be a loser was wrong, and I did have the best hand. So it was a delayed reaction.